Today, we're gonna to take a look at using auto macro extension tubes on your micro four thirds camera to shoot macro photography like this. Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeox.com and I've got a Panasonic GH4 here. This is a micro four thirds camera and on it I've got a 14 to 42 millimeter Lumix micro four thirds kit lens. Now this is a fairly good lens for shooting standard photos and videos, but if I try to shoot super close up, you know, like macro, uh, it just doesn't focus close enough to do that. And that's where this little guy comes in. This is our Photodeox auto macro extension tube for micro four thirds cameras. And basically what it is, is it's a tube that puts extra space between your camera and lens, so the lens becomes a macro only lens. It can no longer function as a normal lens, but it can focus super close up to create beautiful macro photography like this. And the reason you need an auto macro extension tube for the majority of micro four thirds shooting is most of these lenses do not have manual aperture or manual focus control. So to control the focus and aperture with the camera, you're gonna need a macro tube that has built-in communication pins, like you can see right here. They're these little golden pins, and these communicate between the camera and lens so you can control the aperture. And aperture control is actually a pretty big deal when you're shooting macro photography. If you're shooting wide open with your lens, that's gonna be a really, really shallow depth of field that's only gonna be compounded by a macro tube. Shooting wide open, you're just gonna get a very little sliver of focus on your subject. Whereas if you have an auto macro extension tube, you can stop down to like F F11, F22 even, you're gonna get a slightly deeper depth of field uh, so you can focus on more of your subject. Assembling the auto macro tube is super simple. You're just gonna take the lens off your camera. You're gonna mount it to the macro extension tube like that and then you're just gonna mount the macro tube to the camera. It's as simple as that. We've got the extra space, the 16 millimeter and the 10 millimeter, so that's 26 millimeters between the lens and camera. And I'm also gonna zoom into 42 millimeters, the full length of this lens, so I can get really, really close up on my subject. Now let's take some photos. Here's some insect photos I captured with this lens, auto macro tube and camera. And as you can see, I can get some really beautiful results with this setup. Even though this is a cheap kit lens and a fairly older camera that doesn't have the best resolution, I'm still able to capture some really engaging macro photos. And I'm not really using the autofocus with this setup. I'm actually more often just moving the camera back and forth to focus on my subject. But I'm definitely using the electronic aperture control. I'm stopping this lens down so I can get a thicker depth of field and I get more in focus on my subjects. Okay, that's a quick look at our auto macro extension tubes for micro four thirds cameras. Click the link in the description to learn more about these macro tubes. And we don't just carry macro tubes for micro four thirds cameras. We've got macro accessories for pretty much any kind of camera you can imagine. So click the links in the description below to learn more about those as well. Also click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with photodeox.com and happy macro photography.